Sproul to actually right now. In fact, despite the possibility of snow, the Cherry Blossom Festival is in full bloom, even if the star attraction is not uh, blooming at this point. ABC 7's Richard Reeve was there for the official kickoff to the festival. And Richard, with the threat of bad weather, well, it didn't dampen spirits, did it? Yeah, that's right. At the Tidal Basin this evening, we found throngs of Blossom fans. A lot of visitors scheduled their vacations around the Cherry Blossom Festival, and many are learning to pack their patience hoping the blossoms will pop soon. Spring might be here, but no blossoms yet. Pretty soon. It's got to warm up a little bit more. So far, only buds on the district's 3,700 cherry trees. Well, it looks like they're going to be very, very beautiful once they start to bloom. Strolling along the tidal basin, snapping off pictures, or just gazing. We haven't seen a cherry blossom, though. Not one. <laughs> cherry blossom fans are learning Mother Nature has her own timetable. Uh, it's just been too cold, and that's all it is. Hopefully next week, they'll be out for everybody at the end of the festival. Crowds are building even as opening ceremonies begin this weekend. The colorfulness um, and a lot of people. It's tourism time. The blossoms are a tourist magnet with a million visitors during the festival's run between March 20th and April 14th. It's just an awesome feeling of knowing that our capital is decorated with such beautiful flowers. It's an awesome experience just to even know that we're here. Our wintry weather means the blossoms aren't expected to peak until April 3rd. Fans of this century-old gift from the mayor of Tokyo are keeping the faith. So we'll be down next weekend for sure. I'm sure by then they'll be in full bloom as long as the weather holds. And again, the peak is expected between April 3rd and April 6th, but we're told some blossoms could pop up before that. Now, the National Park Service says the earliest peak was on March 17, 2000, the latest, April 11, 1993. Last year, you may recall, we had temps in the 70s. Live in the newsroom, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News.